In an instant, our world was turned upside down. A night of peace shattered by the terror of armed intruders. This is the story of the night my family and I will never forget. Not because of the fact that it was the midnight before my birthday, but because something extraordinary happened. An ordeal that tested our strength, our faith, and our unity. There are moments in life that leave a lasting impact, etching themselves into our memories forever. This is the story of one such night, a night that my family and I will never forget. It was a quiet evening like any other in our peaceful neighborhood. We had no idea that our sense of security would be shattered in a matter of hours. Before that night, there had always been rumors of armed robbers visiting your home if you had gone to pay a condolence visit to a family once attacked by robbers. It never appeared true until we experienced it firsthand. It was only a matter of time before things were clear. Four days before this night, we had paid a condolence visit to an attacked family. So, this is how it all started. By the way, this was our true life story, which means that every part of this story happened. The neighborhood was peaceful and quiet even though it was only 7.30 p.m. The entire community was absolutely silent. Everyone including traders had moved into their respective homes for fear of armed robbers. It was always a case of being more alert or security conscious at that point. By 9.30 p.m. we had all slept hoping to see the light of the following morning. Little did we know Something bad was lurking and it was only a matter of time before it happened. At exactly 11.30 p.m., suddenly, we heard noises that made our hearts race. The sound of breaking glass and forceful entry echoed through the house. And the fearful cries of our neighbors had rented a quiet night. It was indeed a scary night waking up so suddenly from sleep. At that point, it dawned on us that we were being attacked, except that they were still with our neighbors. We had heard the voice of a pregnant neighbor being attacked and how doors were broken down to gain entry. Suddenly, there was an abrupt silence. Just as we thought the attack was over, we heard a great bang on our doors. Our hearts were literally in our mouths. We wished death was around to take us. While the robbers were at the main gate leading to our apartment, my father had gone to the meter to turn off the lights. He said he saw them trying so hard to break down the gates. Out of fear of what he had seen, he ran back inside to hide. At the same time, our landlord and his family had run into our apartment for safety. Although we were surprised seeing them at first, they told us they couldn't stay inside alone as the robbers were also trying to break in from the iron. So we stayed together and started praying and hiding wherever there was space in the small apartment, which then occupied more than 12 people. I must add that things got intense from that point on. It had been effortless 30 minutes trying to break down our doors and windows. They came over to the windows and screamed at us to go and open the doors or they would shoot at us. One of my landlord's daughters screamed and begged that they shouldn't shoot at us and that there was nothing in the house they could take. The robbers got mad and called us stubborn. They even said if they eventually broke in, they would do horrible things to the ladies and maim the men. We got worried and scared. We started pleading and one of them asked us to go and turn on the lights. What happened next was magical. My younger brother got up and turned on the lights while my mom pulled him back down. Interestingly, everything happened so fast that even the armed robbers didn't see who turned on the lights. Even though my mom sustained an injury in her hand from that incident, she was able to save her son from the risk of getting shot. Or who knows, they might have used him as bait. Everything got intense. Well, now the robbers could see everyone in the room and reiterated that they were going to shoot at us. For some reason, they had not and by that time, men had turned into ghosts. I could remember my dad was covered by women in the room and my landlord trying to outpace me under our wooden bed. Interestingly, that's funny today, but it was not back then. Again, we observed some silence and noticed the robbers were absent from the windows. They had gone to attack another family. While we thought that was the end of our audio, we didn't dare to go and turn off the lights. We feared they might be lurking, waiting for someone to stand. Two hours had passed and now it's 3 a.m. 
the robbers had returned and now with full force and anger. One of them said, you people are mad and stubborn. You want to die? At that point, they got pissed and cocked their guns, pointing them into the house. My dad said he had fainted after he had said his last prayers. He thought he was dead because one of the guns was pointing directly at him from the window. He said he was surprised when he woke up again. The robbers pulled the trigger this time, but something extraordinary happened. The robbers opened fire on us, but to their surprise, the guns didn't work. The guns didn't fire. They did it over and over again and nothing changed. They fired the guns pointing at the dark skies and they worked. After several attempts on us, they gave up and were trying to be confronting. One of the robbers told us how he couldn't get assistance when he finished learning the trip and had no parents to support him. Another narrated how he was initiated into a cult at a very young age. Finally, they asked us to pass everything we could through the windows and we insisted there was nothing because truly there was nothing to give. To our surprise, they told us how they had tried to shoot us several times and their guns didn't work. They said we should continue to serve the God that protected us. They said they had never seen anything miraculous like this before. One of the robbers asked us to continue to pray for them. And after a moment of confession, they left us asking us to go and sleep. They promised not to bother us again. It was already 3.30 am and by that time, the whole neighborhood was awake and we could hear wailing from all corners of the community. After like 20 minutes when we were sure the robbers had gone, we regained the courage to stand up from our hiding places. Our neighbors had called on us to come out since the robbers had gone. Indeed, the robbers did a lot of bad things including attempted rapes. It was my birthday, remember? But all I could remember about that year and that day was a trauma. Above all, it was a day not to be forgotten. That night taught us more than we ever expected. It was a reminder of the fragility of our security, but also of the strength we draw from each other. We faced fear and uncertainty, but together we emerged stronger and more resilient. And above all, it was all God. Our story is one of survival, unity, and hope. I do hope this story resonates with you and reminds you of the power of family, community, and God. If this story moves you, please show your support by liking this video, share with your friends and family to spread awareness and inspire others. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more stories that touch the heart and soul. Thanks for watching and stay safe.